Hey, what's going on? Rich here with Summit Life Group. I want to talk about the differences between telesales and field sales from a economical standpoint or point of view. And I, I want to share this because I had a long conversation with a, a friend of mine who is a very uh, big producer, top producer, uh, to primarily selling in the field. And so we were just having conversations, kind of comparing uh, different uh, numbers and things. And so I thought I'd take a few minutes to just share this in a video because I know this is a question that a lot of people have. And uh, let me first start by saying that, um, you know, David and I, my business partner and I, we have, we have sold, have thousands of clients uh, personally from, from uh, generated face to face. We've also had thousands of clients, have thousands of clients that we've sold over the phone uh, over the years. And so uh, we have done both both work very well. We have agents that we support that also do both. And so it's really not a right or wrong uh, way to, to build your business. But our, our thing is to be able to generate and, and, and really create a lifestyle as an independent agent. And so learning how to sell over the phone, having the ability to sell over the phone does certainly create a lot more options. But that being said, you can be financially successful both selling in the field and selling over the phone, and we support and encourage both. Some will sell 100% in the field, some will sell 100% over the phone, and some will do a combination of both. Uh, and and we certainly support that. And and um, you know we're not here to say one is necessarily better than the other, but there are some differences. And and really, um, you know, there's there's different ways you can sell life insurance. First of all, there's you know that do not uh, call that do not. Um, that we do not have to spend or invest money in marketing to make sales. You can, you know, work your warm market, work referrals. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can sell life insurance and never invest any real money in marketing. But what I want to talk specifically about here is just if you're an independent agent and you are investing in marketing, you're purchasing different types of leads to then sell life insurance. Um, how does that compare telesales versus field sales? And so, um, you know, for starters, you know, typically with, and this is kind of where the conversation was going, you know, it's going to vary by agent. There's no exact, um, you know, formula that it takes this much more or leads or anything like that. It, of course, varies by every agent. Every agent has a different skill level. But generally speaking, uh, from my experience, I would say that your, your lead investment your, is typically going to be higher with telesales, not always, but in a lot of cases than it is with field sales. So I just want to kind of mention that right up front. For example, a $10,000 producer, let's just take a, a, a producer that's a good producer that writes $10,000 worth of life premium a month. Well, if they're doing that off of mar from purchased leads, uh, again, there's a lot of ways to do that, but if you're doing it off of purchased leads, the agent that is purchasing leads and selling 100% face to face probably invest a smaller amount of dollar amount compared to the agent that is selling 10,000 over the phone. Again, not always. I've seen maybe in some cases it's the same, but I would say generally speaking it, it is you, you need more lead spend for the same $10,000 of production. Same thing, a $20,000 producer, that's a big producer, somebody that writes 20, 25,000 a month. To write 25,000 a month in the field probably requires a slightly smaller lead investment than telesales. The reason for that is, um, one, people are able to still show up, right, even if people no-show, that kind of thing. With telesales, when someone no-shows, you're not speaking to anyone. The other thing is people have a strong, um, it's, people have a lot of strength on the phone, meaning if they lose interest or, or whatever, you know, or, you know, they can just hang up. Whereas with field sales, you're sitting in there, you're, you know, you can, you kind of stay with them and, and you're typically, your close ratio is going to be higher. So for those reasons, you just need more lead volume, more people to speak to, typically a bigger lead investment. That being said, everything after that is pretty much the same, but what you have to consider uh, when you are comparing the, your, from an economic standpoint, your investment for telesales versus field sales, 
With telesales, your only real investment is your marketing, is your lead lead cost, your lead bill. It's an investment, but your lead bill, your lead investment is your only real line item. It's your only real expense. When you look at field sales, typically you got to, not typically, you have to consider your, your mileage and your gas. And most people that do field sales are not doing it five minutes from their house. They're typically spending a lot of time in the car. And of course, as the, as the time of this recording of this video, gas prices are very high, but you have to put your gas, how much you're spending in gas has to be added into the equation. Uh, and that's a pretty big expense for a lot of people. And the larger, the bigger the producer, the more you're traveling, running the roads, the more that expense is. The second thing you have to look at is, you know, even just your how much you're spending in food because you're eating out typically. Uh, and then the, the real big one is um, a lot of top producers, what ends up happening for people that are selling life insurance in the field, if they're selling at a high level, they're typically traveling not just by car, or not just driving a lot, they're also staying in hotels. A lot of top producers, and we did the same thing, because in order to have enough leads and people to talk to, there's a lot of travel involved. And so you, you end up having hotel costs. And so to really be fair, when you look at the expenses associated with selling over the phone compared to the field, you really have to add in the, the gas bill that you're spending, the hotels if you're staying in hotels, and even the increase in just eating out. So those expenses need to be factored in. And every time I do this with an agent, what I find is that the expenses are really going to be higher with a field sales agent. Even though your lead bill might be slightly higher, your other expenses are so, so much less that at the end of the day, at a bare minimum, it's a wash, but it's typically going to be more expensive uh, as, a, as a field sales agent. The other thing that it's hard to put a dollar a figure on but if you're a field sales agent and you are traveling, you are getting maybe even on airplanes, which I didn't even mention cost of airplanes, but if you're traveling or you're driving for long distance, you're staying overnight in hotels and you're away from your family, there is certainly a cost to being away from your family. And so there's many top producers that spend, you know, one, two, three nights a week away from their family. And the question is, what kind of cost would you put on that? And so those are just some things to consider uh, as, you, as you compare telesales to field sales. But I do believe that your, your lead investment, that one line item, is typically going to be higher in most cases. So if, you're, if you want to be a $10,000 producer, you might have to spend slightly more in leads to write that same $10,000 but you don't have all the other costs. So I hope that helps just as if you're evaluating. Again, we love field sales. We love telesales. We love to sell life insurance, but we like to do it on our terms. And we wanted to have the skill set, the systems, the, the ability to sell from anywhere that we wanted to sell from. And that's what we help agents do as well. So whether you're a, a telesales uh, agent looking for a, a, a great community, a place that you can work and thrive, a field sales agent that would love to learn how to sell over the phone or maybe do a hybrid, uh, fill out the link below. Uh, someone from our team will reach out to you. We'd love to help you develop your own lifestyle business and, and, and build the, the type of uh, the business that, that ultimately uh, helps you uh, succeed in a way you want to succeed. So fill out the link below. We'd love to chat with you. We'll talk to you soon.